Yes, you read the title right. The Cardano Vasil hard fork has been officially delayed. In today's video, I want to go over a bit of the sentiment of the market, what's happening, what's going on, maybe a little bit about what is the Vasil hard fork, and also just show you a clip from today's Cardano 360 event showcasing that yes, there is indeed going to be a delay and confirming it. First things first, in terms of the market side of things, Cardano is floating around 51 cents and there's been some teasing going on. The price has been going up and down and up and down for the past week and it's been interesting to say the least. Me, myself, I'm not too worried about the price. I don't think as many people are nearly as worried about the price as they are, were, you know, in the bull market. Things have been down for quite a while and a lot of people's expectations are that they're not going anywhere anytime soon. So if they do, that'd be cool. But for now, we're focused on the fundamental things like the Vassil hard fork and its delay. So let's play the clip and just show you exactly what delayed it and what's going on now. Obviously, from where we are, there could be a few more weeks before we go to the actual Vassil hard fork. We've also got to ensure that SPOs, DAP developers, exchanges are all ready for that. Yes, yes, Tim. This is incredibly important. All the users have to be uh, ready to progress through the hard fork to make sure the smooth process both for them but also very importantly for the end users of the cardano blockchain so yes there is going to be a bit of a delay but in all honesty it's not really a big deal and i'm going to tell you why also if you want to check out this entire clip and a bunch of useful information for what cardano is bringing and has brought for the month of july 2022 feel free to link it down below or check out the link down below and watch the whole thing tons of useful information in there about Vasil and also just things building on Cardano in general but in general it's not really a big deal the Vasil hard fork is an upgrade that is significant not just because it's going to scale the network not just because all the people coming from other blockchains are going to be you know running out of things to basically pick and point at when it comes to Cardano, but because it's going to finalize and polish up a lot of smart contract capabilities, allowing the launch of things like synthetics, stable coins, pooled lending, and a lot more, some of which we don't even know the capabilities that it'll bring with extended UTXO's model and other things that I rarely understand. It does bring Cardano over that finish line with a scaled product, it's a centralized product, or protocol rather, not really product, and something to very much so write home about. Also, if you want to know more about the Vassil hard fork and its capabilities in depth, not just a brief overview, I do go over more of the capabilities and what is being upgraded specifically in the hard fork and go in depth on each topic in this video here, which will also be linked down in the description. Now, in terms of DAP capabilities, we not only have DEXs preparing already and testing out the sales capabilities and saying, hey, this is a large increase in, in efficiency, you know, and speed and throughput, and things are looking very good. But also, we have things like wallets being able to take away collateral and more, and different DeFi protocols, you know, enabling synthetics or having better systems for the user that can basically make capital more efficient make people's money go further and in a system of decentralized finance when things are scary people want to make their money go as far as possible without being a ponzi scheme of course now in general this delay to me is not a big deal and in the meantime if you're going to be holding your ADA, you might as well stake it and you could stake it with the jack stake pool or you could stake it with 3100 other stake pools because Yes, Cardano has marked that decentralization factor, also well being proof of stake in a very secure and really impressive way. Compared to all their blockchains out there, Cardano has a an immense amount of validators and a lot more than other L1s. It's not Komodo coefficient. Basically, the scaling that determines how decentralized it is is quite high, high being a good thing. And I don't think that's going anywhere anytime soon. There's a lot of people interested in the protocol. There's a lot of people who are interested in keeping the ethos of Cardano and the ethos of decentralization in cryptocurrencies here. And that being said, I don't think Cardano is going anywhere. I don't think just because Vasil has been delayed for a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, two months, it really matters in the long run because the finish line is approaching and Cardano is going to get there one way or another. Anyways, that's it for the videos today. I have recently made a video saying how I sold on my Cardano. Keep in mind, 
I'm buying some of it back. I know a lot of people are unsubscribing because they think I don't have any Cardano anymore. I still have a hefty chunk of Cardano. I am tracking it. I'm going to be announcing a partnership tomorrow that will be able to track all my wallets if you want to check them out. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. It's been your friend Jack. Peace out.